But our plans were interrupted when the managers of the AMC Theater here in Greenville chose to call the police rather than accommodate my visible disability. Civil rights leader, Reverend William Barber, was kicked out of a North Carolina movie theater while attempting to see the critically acclaimed new movie, The Color Purple, with his 90-year-old mother. Reverend William Barber is a well-known minister and civil rights leader. For 30 years, he served as pastor of Greenleaf Christian Church in Goldsboro, North Carolina, before retiring earlier this year. Bishop Barber has been instrumental in advocating on behalf of poor people in America. In 2018, Reverend Barber was granted a prestigious MacArthur Genius Grant for his efforts in confronting racial and economic inequality. Since his early 20s, Bishop Barber has been battling a degenerative spine disease called ankylosing spondylitis. Ankylosing spondylitis is an inflammatory disease, which can cause some of the bones in the spine to fuse over time, making the spine less flexible, resulting in a hunched posture. Because of his condition, 60-year-old Reverend Barber walks with two canes and requires a special chair everywhere he goes. Listen to how employees of an AMC theater in North Carolina treated Bishop Barber, as he attempted to watch a matinee performance of the film, The Color Purple, with his 90-year-old mother. William Barber, a very well-known civil rights activist here in North Carolina, is sharing more details about his trip to a movie theater in Greenville. Yeah, he says he wasn't allowed to use a stool that he sits in because of his disability. Tom George joining us now live with more on what Barber is saying about what happened to him. Tom. Well, well Bianca and Steve, this all happened with uh, Bishop when Bishop William Barber went to the AMC Firehouse in Greenville, North Carolina. He says the managers wouldn't let him use the chair he uses because of his disability, and now he wants answers. It was supposed to be a good holiday season for Bishop William Barber spending quality time with his 90-year-old mom. This week was going to be our time of reminiscing. He decided to take her to go see the color purple at this AMC in Greenville. Barber walks with two canes due to a form of arthritis and has trouble sitting down in certain chairs. Because of that, he'll often bring his own seat to events, which resembles a bar stool with a back. That's what he did in this case, setting it up in the theater section designated for people with disabilities. However, he was told by an employee that was not allowed. That disagreement escalated, and eventually a staffer called police. Barber would voluntarily leave the theater after an officer arrived and no charges were filed. Barber has a severe form of arthritis and says he was shocked when he couldn't use this chair that he takes everywhere because of his disability. It's been in restaurants. It's been in uh, mama kitchens and, and fancy restaurants. It's been everywhere. Hallelujah. It's been everywhere. Video sent to ABC 11 appears to show the situation escalating, ending with police being called and Barber being asked to leave. Now, as the dust settles, Barber says he wants to see something done. This is about what systemic changes and policy changes to training need to be done to ensure this happens to no one. In a statement, AMC said, quote, we sincerely apologize to Bishop Barber for how he was treated and for the frustration and inconvenience brought to him, his family and his guests. But one local attorney says this is something that happens too often. Be kind. Know that you don't have to ask someone about their disability. It may be mental. It may be physical. And it doesn't matter. And her advice to those with disabilities, know your rights and stand your ground. I would encourage people to say, I belong here. You all are required to accommodate me. And that's what the law says. In a statement, Barbara writing, with all the issues and real battles going on in the world, for managers of a theater to decide they can't accommodate you and would rather move you from a theater is absurd, which is why I prayed for them. Catherine McFarlane is the director of the Disability Law and Policy Program at Syracuse University College of Law and shared insight on what the Americans with Disabilities Act states. The physical structure of a, of a movie theater has to be adapted to allow a person like this gentleman the ability to sit and enjoy a movie in peace without experiencing pain. She adds that a person does not need to call ahead for such an accommodation. So what the law envisions is not just letting people in the door, it's allowing people to have the same quality of life, the same ability to 
experience joy as everyone else. AMC has since apologized to Barber, vowing to review his policies to prevent future issues. A spokesperson for the chain wrote in part, We sincerely apologize to Bishop Barber for how he was treated and for the frustration and inconvenience brought to him, his family, and his guests. As for Barber, he hopes it's a lesson for others. I ain't gonna let nobody, nobody. think they can treat you different because you have a cane nobody. or a walker or because you can't see or because of how you have a disability. Ain't gonna let nobody. And Barber says he has retained an attorney but has not made any decisions on potential litigation. He is set to speak with the president and CEO of AMC Theaters in Greenville. They want to talk about possible changes in training and awareness. Wrong.